So good morning. It's Patty Bogue. Happy Sunday. Um, we are doing a um, slow flow, opening up the front and the back of the body for some back bends. Um, and I never say back bends in my advertisement because people are always like, oh no. Um, but this is going to feel really yummy because we're really going to open up the shoulders and open up the hips and then do some gentle back bends. So let's start on our backs and we're going to be um, over the blocks like this. And if you don't have two blocks, roll up a thicker blanket and just put it right under your shoulder blades. So with the two blocks, one block is lower, the other block is higher. And you just put the bottom tips of your shoulder blades right on the lower block. It's on its medium height. Then I reach around, grab the other block and place it under my head. And then arms go out to the side and you can keep the knees bent. You can straighten one leg, alternate. Um, this really opens up the thoracic spine. Um, and, and often when you first get into it, it doesn't feel super yummy. Um, it's a little bit painful. Um, make sure your belly's pulling in. If it triggers your lower back, pull the belly button in or lower the blocks to one level lower. So just find that. And then just start to soften your face. Start to deepen your breath. When we think of being lucky or unlucky, we think of it as being random. Maybe you're planning a picnic and it rains. What bad luck. But when you look at it, a specific set of events have to happen to make that rain occur. It's not accidental. When we look in nature, like the Fibonacci series, I don't know if you're familiar with that, the mathematical equation, when you look at leaves and branches, we see that there isn't a coincidence as everything in nature has a deep order to it. Sometimes we can't see it because we are looking, we aren't looking deep enough or wide enough. Our body is highly organized too. There are specific set of principles that enable the body to move safely in poses and in normal activities throughout the day. When we align our body and open our body in specific ways, we can get into poses that we didn't think we could before. There is no randomness. Being lucky isn't a coincidence. So take two more deep breaths here. Good, and then bend your legs. We're just gonna roll over off the blocks to our side. Just push the blocks off to the side and then lay all the way back down on your back. Just hug your knees into your chest, maybe rock side to side. And then keep your knees hugging in. Take your arms out to the side. Let's drop both knees over to the right for a twist. And then turn your head to the left. And take your right hand up onto your thigh. Just give it a little deep twist. Good, then inhale the head back to center, pull your knees to center and then drop them over to the left. Good, and then turn your head to the right. You can use your left hand on your thigh to deepen the twist. First twist of the day always feels so yummy. Good, then inhale your head back to center. Use your belly to bring your knees Back to center, hug the knees in, and then flip the feet up for happy baby. Grab the baby toe side of the feet, and then just rock one leg forward, or sorry, out to the side, just starting to open up the hamstrings a little bit. Good, then bring the bottoms of the feet together. Good, interlace your hands behind the baby toes, and then pull the arms straight. Your head will come up, tuck your chin, and then just shrug your shoulders up and down.
Good, and then release the hands. We're just gonna roll all the way up to sitting. Everybody just check that your um, uh, microphone is on mute. I can hear a little playback, I'm not sure. There we go. Good, thank you, Susan. Good, so now grow tall. Grow tall and we're gonna take the arms out to the side. The legs are out to the side. Your feet are flexed. Your second toe should be pointing straight up. Grow a little bit taller and then turn to the right. Really lift the, the spine nice and long. Twist, 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 and then come back to center. Pull your belly button in, grow a little taller. Let's twist to the left. Twist, twist, twist. Twist, good, and then come back to center. We're gonna to twist to the right again, grow tall. This time, take your left hand to your right shin. Take the back of your hand to your shin if you can, and push on the leg and see if you can twist open. Spine stays long, belly pulls in, twist, 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 and then come back to center, grow tall, pull the belly button in, twist to the left. Take the outside of the hand to your thigh or your knee, or your shin, and then twist again. Twist, 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 and then come back to center. Good, bring the bottoms of your feet together, pull them in, grab onto your ankles, and then grow tall. Hug the elbows into the side of your body, lift the spine long, and then just start to lead forward. So getting lucky in our health, in our daily lives, lining up the body so that we have good health. Could maybe walk the hands forward. Maybe walk over to the left. Good, and back to center and then over to the right. Good, and then all the way back to center. And then sit all the way up. Good, extend your legs straight out in front. We're gonna lean over onto our left butt cheek and pull the right leg behind. So we're gonna spend a lot of time opening up the quads today. So try to sit up evenly. Your right butt cheek is gonna be a little uh, softer hitting the ground. And then flex your left foot and just grow tall. Right, think of that string lifting you nice and long. And then start to walk your hands back so your fingertips point towards your buttocks. And we're just gonna roll the shoulders a couple times. Good, now keep the shoulders on the back, squeeze the elbows together, lift the chest up. So that nice stretch through the front of the chest. Good, so if your quads are screaming here, I would just stay here. If you think you can drop a little bit lower, maybe to the elbows, or you can even put the blocks behind and drop your, your elbows to the blocks. Good, maybe you can go all the way down. And then take, if you're all the way down, take the arms overhead, hook your thumbs, palms face the ceiling. Good, so this kind of mirrors um, wheel a little bit on the ground. So tuck your tailbone and pull your right quad forward to the top of your mat, away from your head. Maybe squeeze your right butt cheek a little bit. This isn't very nice of me first thing in the morning, is it? Getting right into the quads. Good, and then take your hands to your heels, come up onto your elbows, and then come all the way up. And then lean over onto the left butt cheek. On, do your leg, and then just kind of give it a little shake out. That pose is so therapeutic for the knees. And maybe wiggle the feet. We've cut the blood supply off to the toes too. So wiggle that around. Good, and then let's switch sides. So lean onto your right butt cheek. Bring the left foot around behind. And you want the heel of your foot tucking as close to your buttocks as you can. 
the feet are pointing straight down. A lot of people complain that this bothers the top of their feet. Click down into your toenails and then just sit tall, right? Think of that string lifting you up nice and long. And then notice what you notice. For some, the hamstrings are gonna be where you're really feeling it. The quad is where we're targeting, but um, wherever you're tight, you're going to feel a little bit. And then start to walk the hands back. And let's just roll the shoulders again. Maybe change the direction. Just kind of play around, maybe one shoulder and the other shoulder. Good, now really fasten the shoulders onto the back, bend the elbows, squeeze the elbows together and lift the chest up. Keep squeezing the elbows together. Good, and then drop your chin and maybe just trace your collarbone. Feel a few crunchies in there. Good, and then bring the head back to center. And maybe you just stay here. If this is deep enough on your quad, just stay here. You wanna drop down maybe to your elbows, maybe come all the way down to the floor. If you're on the floor, hook your thumbs, stretch the arms away, and then lengthen your tailbone towards your right heel. Good, click all the toenails down in your left foot, on your left foot, and then slide the left quad forward towards the top of your mat. Maybe squeeze that left butt cheek just a tiny bit to uh, deepen the stretch. Say good morning to your quads. Yowza. Quads are always tight like hamstrings. Good, one more breath. Good, and then grab onto your heel, come up onto the elbows and then try to lead with the heart coming all the way out and then release the leg and just slowly let the blood return, maybe roll out the ankle a little bit, let the blood return. Good, and then cross your ankles and we're going to step back into down dog. And just take a moment to pedal out your feet bending one knee, pressing the opposite heel down, really opening up the calves. Make sure you're lifting the opposite heel. One heel will reach the floor, the other heel lifts to give those toes a good stretch. And then put a slight bend in your knees. Push the floor away with your hands. See if you can bring your chest a little closer to your thighs. And then lift your sit bones up towards the ceiling. Good. Really engage the legs and stretch the spine nice and long. And then slowly start to straighten the legs. And maybe they don't go all the way straight. That's okay. And then look forward. Let's walk all the way to the top of the mat. Bend your knees, grab your elbows, and just hang here. Let's get into the hamstrings just a little bit. Shake the head no, shake the head yes. Kind of roll, roll out the shoulders. Good, and then slowly start to straighten your right leg. We're gonna bring our right elbow forward. Good, tack the right hip and right heel down and back. Oh, that feels good. Good, and then release, straighten your left leg, pull your left elbow forward, tack the left hip back and then root the heel down. Good, and then release, shake your head, roll the shoulders. Good, hands come to the shins, inhale, look and lengthen. Good, pull the belly button in, exhale, and drop. One more time, hands come to the shins, inhale, look and lengthen. Pull the belly button in, exhale, and fold. And then let's roll up, 
push down through your legs. Make Keep your legs super strong. And inhale, sweep the arms wide and high. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. Okay, who's ready to get lucky? Yes? So give me two thumbs up. Two thumbs up and you're gonna take your thumbs and put them under your armpits. You're in the privacy of your own home. So uh, you're okay to do this. So, so take your thumbs under your armpits and lift your armpits up. And as soon as you do that, you should feel length in the spine, feel the sternum lift. Good, lift up. Now keep that up here. And we're gonna take both hands around your waist and use your thumbs to pull, just kind of massage the tailbone down. So the sternum's still lifting up, the tailbone pulls down. And then take your peace fingers and you're going to just gently press on the chin, lengthening the cervical spine, lengthening the back of the neck. So armpits lift, tailbone lengthens, and then cervical spine by pressing the chin. So this is lining up the body. So every time you are standing, go through those three components. The idea is getting our pelvis into a neutral position. I think I've talked to you before about thinking of your pelvis as a bowl, right? If we're tipping it forward, we're sticking our booty out. Look what havoc is created up here. Same goes for this. If we're tucking too much, there's havoc created in the shoulders and head, right? If you're getting headaches, check your alignment, right? If you wanna get lucky in your health, check your alignment. Good, so let's just go through that one more time. Armpits lift, tailbone lengthens. Good, chin draws in. Good, inhale, sweep the arms wide and high. Exhale, forward fold. Good, let's step the right leg back and drop the knee down. Good, and then walk your hands up. So again, armpits lift, tailbone lengthens. And notice when you lengthen the tailbone, how, how that automatically engages your abs and then draw the chin in. We're gonna sweep the arms wide and high. Exhale, the hands behind you, interlace the hands and open up the chest. So I, I catch myself lifting my chin. When my hands go behind, my chin lifts for some reason. So notice if you're doing that too, try to keep the chin in neutral, the back of the skull lengthening up towards the sky. Good, and then release the hands down in front inside of the leg and just wiggle your left leg forward and let's come into lizard pose. So whatever version of lizard you want, if you wanna stay up on your hands, just kind of wiggling around for a moment, if you wanna drop down to your elbows, just play around, get deep into the hips, opening up the hips. So the luck of the Irish, right? People may seem lucky around us, but there really is a highly specific order to our lives in each yoga pose. So maybe it's not so random. Luck is not so random after all. Then let's take one more breath here. Good, and then walk the hands back in. Straighten your front leg and just wiggle your left foot forward a little bit, draw the toes back. See if you can make space between every single toe. And then on the inhale, lengthen the spine, pull the belly button in, exhale and fold over the leg. So keep hugging the muscle into the bone, tacking that left hip back, spine stays long. Think of the armpits reaching forward. And then let your toes fall out to the left and then bow over the leg again. This should be a different part of the hamstring, a little bit into the IT band. Good, and then toes point straight back up, plant the foot. We're gonna walk over to the right, Padatanasana, wide leg forward fold. Look forward, lengthen the spine, and then just walk your hands between your legs. Let your head get heavy. Maybe shake your head yes and no. Roll the shoulders. You can grab onto the ankles and use your arms to pull yourself in. Good. 
Good, and then walk back to center. Good, step forward, Uttanasana. Good, inhale, look and lengthen. Pull the belly button in, exhale and fold. Let's step the left leg back, drop the knee. Good, coming just up into a high lunge. And then lengthen the tailbone down, armpits lift up, shin is in neutral. And then sweep the arms wide and high. Exhale the hands behind you. Now notice where the dominant thumb goes. One, one part, one hand will want to go on top. Switch it, it's gonna feel kind of awkward and then open up the chest again. It's good to shake things up a little bit. It's good for our brain. It's good for our bodies. I'd really open up the front of the body here to prepare for bridge and maybe wheel. Good, and then bring the hands down on the inside of your foot. Wiggle your foot forward a little bit, coming into a low lunge or lizard pose. So just kind of play around, whatever feels good here. Just rocking side to side or staying still. Just keep working deep into the pose. So Malcolm Gladwell, I don't know if you follow him, is a, he's a Canadian, but he's written tons of, um, they're not self-help books, they're more, um, hmm, I don't know how you would describe his books, um, but he talks about people who are successful, and he says it's not always the brightest or most skilled that have success, it's people who keep an open mind, stay alert to everything go around, going on around them so they don't miss opportunities. And most importantly, when they see an opportunity, they act on it. They don't sit around waiting or analyzing. Nothing is random. There is a specific set of events that occur. Right, and then push your arm straight. Let's straighten the right leg. Maybe wiggle it forward a little bit, draw the toes back, inhale, lift the chest, and then exhale, fold over the leg. Keep tacking that right hip back. Spine is nice and long. Maybe let the toes fall out to the side. Good, and then toes come back to center, plant your foot, walk over to the left. I'm gonna stay to the right. And then this time walk your hands forward up onto spider fingers. Really claw your fingers and then lean the hips back. Just kind of wiggle side to side. And then let's walk over to the right a little bit. Take your right hand underneath the body. See if you can grab the left leg and then twist. So use your arm to kind of twist you through. Good, and then hands come back to center. And then walk just a tiny bit, not too far over to the left. Take your left hand, grab the right shin and then peek under your armpit. Keep tacking the right hip back. Good, and then come all the way back to the top of the mat. Step back into down dog. Good, and then come forward into plank and then drop the knees and we're just gonna lower the hips coming into a modified up dog. So hug the elbows in, push down through the hands, click all your toenails down, lengthen the tailbone, lift the armpits, tuck the chin. Good, and then lower all the way down, curl the toes under, Lift up to plank and then back into down dog. Good, step your feet a little closer together and let's lift the right leg up, bend the knee, open up the hip. So you're turning your pelvis to the right and see if you can kick the right heel over to the left. Maybe tap your heel towards your booty to get into the quad again. Good, then straighten the leg, level up the hips. Sweep your right foot forward or right knee forward into pigeon. 
good walk the back foot away now rather than folding forward we are going to fold forward but i want you to roll the shoulders onto the back lift the armpits up so visualize your thumbs lifting the armpits up lengthen the tailbone under pressing the chin back so the chin isn't tucked it's just helping to lengthen the back of the skull good now fold forward try to keep all of that as we fold forward so here's some steps to allow you to get lucky so there was a study done at a college and they had two groups of students and the first group they told them just to walk down the street and the second group they said walk down the street but be really mindful of everything going on around you and the um people conducting the study had thrown money around the sidewalk and the first group that was told just to walk down the street totally missed the money <laughs> whereas the second one obviously they were being aware they noticed all the money so to get lucky you need to be open and aware good let's take two more breaths here And then walk the hands back up, curl the back toes under, step back, down dog. Good, step the feet a little bit closer together, lift the left leg up, bend the knee, open up the hip. So pelvis turns to the left, kick your heel to the right. Flex the foot and really push the heel away, and then maybe try to tap your booty with the heel. That'll get into the quad. Good, straighten the leg, level out the hips, sweep your knee forward, coming into pigeon prep, but don't fold down right away. Good, click all your toenails down on the right foot, stay up on spider fingers, lift your armpits up, melt the tailbone down, lengthen the back of the skull. Just notice how good that feels when you uh, are in that. For me, especially the head, I feel like I'm really missing aligning my head with um, being on technology and then slowly fold over the front leg. <clears throat> so in one of his books, Malcolm Gladwell talks about being knowledgeable. He said there's specific ways to line the body, specific still skills needed to line up. And he said, usually it takes 10,000 hours for you to become an expert at anything. 10,000 hours of studying, 10,000 hours of action. And then you get lucky. You open up the possibility of luck. Good luck is really living under correct knowledge lining things up good one more breath and then walk the hands back good step back and down dog good let's come forward into plank drop down to your knees slowly lower your hips as you hug the elbows in and then lift the armpits up, melt the tailbone down. Good, tuck the chin slightly, really open up the front of the body from the pubic bone all the way up to the crown of the head. Good, and then exhale lower, curl the toes under, inhale back up for plank, exhale back, down dog. Good, let's lift the right leg high, sweep it forward for crescent warrior and then come all the way up. Let's take our thumbs, lift the armpits up, melt the tailbone down. So just like in wheel, we want this back leg to inner spiral up. So think of the back inner thigh lifting up and then draw the chin in slightly to lengthen up through the back of the skull and then lift your arms up. Really dive deep into crescent. Soften your face. 
Good, now let the arms open up to the side and let's twist again to the right. So right hand goes behind, left arm forward, twist, 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 and maybe hook the elbow on your thigh, hands come into prayer. And use that bottom hand, keep it open. The top hand makes the fist and push down to line the shoulders up. Good, one more breath. Keep inner spiraling that back leg. Good, hands place on the floor, step back into plank, lower down. See if you can do an up dog. You can come to a modified up dog, dog by dropping the knees first and then roll over the toes, coming back into down dog. And then let's switch sides. So left leg lifts up, step forward, crescent warrior. So armpits lift, tuck the tailbone, draw the chin in to lengthen the back of the skull. And then arms open out to the side and let's twist to the left. Keep inner spiraling the back leg and then hook the right elbow on the left thigh, coming into prayer twist. Good, one more breath. Good, and plant the hands, step back into plank. You can drop to the knees, drop to the hips, and then lift up. Good, and then lower all the way down. So grab your belt. We're gonna place it just on your booty here. And the palms are going to face down. So your hands are facing down. And just rest your head on the mat. And we're gonna lift your right leg, lengthen it long, and then carefully plant the foot, spreading all the toes, especially the baby toe. And then inhale the left foot, lengthen it long, plant it down. Now all our cues again, armpits lift, tailbone lengthens, draw the chin in. Now lift the, the head and shoulders. Good, pull the belt apart a little bit, pull the belt towards the back wall, using all of those back muscles. Small baby sips of breath. Good, and release. Make a pillow with your hands and just shake your hips. You can lift your feet up, shake them side to side. And then we'll do it one more time. Good, and then plant down. Now this time, hands come down again. But this time we're gonna lift the head and the feet. So lengthen the tailbone, armpits lift, shoulders lift, chin tucks and then lift the head and shoulders, lift the feet. Good, pull everything long, squeeze, lift. Small baby breaths. Good, one more breath. And release, make a pillow. Good, you can just move the belt off to the side. Shake the hips side to side or lift the feet, rock the feet side to side. And let's just get into the shoulders a tiny bit. So right arm stretches straight out. Let's roll over onto our right side, walking the hand away. Everything's stacked and then pick up the top foot, bend the knee, maybe place it behind. So you gauge with your body how how open your shoulders are feeling today. Good, one more breath. See if you can draw the shoulders away from the ears and then slowly roll back under the belly and let's switch sides. So left arm stretches straight out. Walk the hand away as you roll over onto your left side. Maybe pick the foot up, maybe keep the feet stacked. Whatever feels good to you today. So there's a 
a joke. It's a lady. She's down on her hands and knees every day, praying to God to let her win the lottery. Every day, for days and months and years, it goes on. She's praying, praying, praying. I just don't understand, God, why you aren't letting me win the lottery. And finally, one day, there's a big boom. And God thunders down and says, work with me, lady. You got to buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> so the moral of the story is staying open, right? Getting curious. If we stay inside our bubble, our chances of getting lucky are slim, right? We've got to line up and stay open to all the opportunities that are around us. Good. One more breath. And then slowly roll back, curl the toes under, hands come beside the chest, push up into plank, and then back into down dog. Good. One more standing pose here. So inhale, the right leg up high, sweep it forward. Good. Lift up for Crescent Warrior. Good. Let's take the hands behind. Good, interlace the fingers. And I'm gonna have you actually plant the back heel. So it's really more like warrior one or warrior two legs. And then leading with the heart, we're gonna fold forward on the inside of the leg. Let the arms go up and over. So by now, hopefully your shoulders are feeling a little bit more open. Legs are feeling a little bit more open. Good, one more breath. Good, let's plant the hands, step back into plank, do a flow. And back into down dog. Good, and then lift the left leg high, sweep it forward. Good, plant the back heel in and down. Let's start with warrior one. And then open up the shoulders. So switch hands, good, open up the chest. And then leading with the heart, start to fold forward. So armpits reach forward, tailbone lengthens, tuck the chin slightly. Good, and then plant the hands, step back into plank, lower down chaturanga, cobra or up dog and back into down dog. Two, three breaths here. Let's slide forward into plank, drop just the knees, slowly lower the hips, release the toes, and lift up for a modified up dog. So really push down through your hands. Good, and then let's lower all the way down. Good, let's bring your left forearm parallel with the top of the mat. Lift your right leg up, reach the hand around, grab the foot. See if you can um, take the webbing between your thumb and your first finger and kind of nestle it up to the outside of the big toe. And then see if you can turn to point the fingers forward. The elbow should go up in the air. This will give you more of a shoulder opener as well as a quad stretch. So go through your cues, armpits lift, tailbone lengthens, draw the chin in slightly, open up that quad. Good, and release, switching sides. So lift the left leg, take the webbing between your thumb and your first finger, press it into the Big toe side of the foot and then pivot your fingers forward. Elbow will lift, you'll feel this deep into the left shoulder and then go through the action. Tailbone lengthens, armpits lift, chin tucks slightly. So luck is living under correct knowledge. Staying open and curious for opportunities. Good, one more breath and release. Good, make a pillow with your hands and just shake the, let the toes go side to side.
and then come back to center. We're going to reach around, grab one uh, ankle, reach around, grab the other ankle. And if that's not possible, use your belt, flex the feet, and we're going to push down with the pelvis and lengthen the tailbone. Pull the armpits up, tuck the chin slightly, and then lift everything up for uh, Dhanurasana. So this is just an upside down wheel pose. Good, last breath. Oh, and release. Push back, child's pose. Good, and then come all the way back. Just grab your belt. Just gonna take a minute before we do full wheel um, to open the shoulders a little bit more. So just sit in Sukhasana, uh, legs are crossed, and then grab your belt and just place it over your left shoulder. Good, then inhale the right arm to the sky, drop the hand behind, take your left hand to the elbow, and just start to walk your right hand down the back a little bit. Now pause here. Lift the armpits up, draw the tailbone down, and then tuck the chin slightly and push your head back into your forearm. Good. Now we're gonna lean over to the left. Good, one more breath. And then come back to center. So your right hand should be able to grab the belt. Take your left hand around behind and then grab the other end of the belt coming into Gomukhasana um, arms, cow's head arms. So if you can touch, if you can clasp your hands together and you don't need the belt, that's okay. Clasp your hands and then lean back. And then just close your eyes. Let's do three deep breaths here. Inhale through the nose, think ah. Uh. Exhale through the nose, think ha. Uh. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And then slowly release. Close your eyes. Hands come to your thighs. And just notice what you notice around the shoulders. Good. Then open your eyes. Grab your belt. We're going to place it over the right shoulder now. Inhale the left arm to the sky. Drop the hand and then take your right hand to the elbow. Work the, the left hand down the back, hugging the elbow in. Good, and then go through your action. So lift the armpits up, melt the tailbone, draw the chin in to lengthen the back of the skull, and then really press your head back into the forearm. Good, and then maybe start to drop. So you don't wanna turn your torso at all. It really just drops to the right. Good, and really lift up with that left elbow. So you're anchoring your left sit bone, lift up through the left elbow. Good, lean the head back, belly's engaged. Ooh, that's a doozy of a stretch for me today. Good, but we're getting lucky, right? We're lining up the body, opening it up. And then inhale back to center. Release your right hand down behind. Grab onto the belt with the top hand. Grab onto the belt with the bottom hand. And maybe you can work your hands closer and closer. And then just lean back, close your eyes. Three deep breaths here. Think of the, the breath going all the way down into the belly, expanding the front and back ribs. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Good. And then slowly release the hands. Just set your hands on your thighs and just notice what you notice.
Good, and then open your eyes and we're just gonna lay all the way down into your back. Make sure you have a block handy. So this is um, uh, another back bend, it's bridge pose. Uh, in Sanskrit, it's Setu Bandha. So we're going to have the palms facing down. And I just want you to melt the tailbone towards your heels so that your waistline drops down to the floor. And you can feel the abs engage, really push the middle of your back and the lower back into the um, floor. And notice how your tailbone tips up. Good, now can you move your armpits Lengthen your armpits a little bit and then draw your chin in and then release. And the waistline will kind of lift. You'll have that little hollow at the back. So inhale, good, lift the tailbone, push the lower back into the floor, lengthen the spine, tuck the chin, and then exhale, soften everything and release. Notice what's working here, right? Your glutes will start working one more time. Good, lift the tailbone. Good, push the lower back. Press the feet into the floor. Good, just notice how everything is working here. Good, and then exhale and soften and release. So we're going to go through bridge three times. I'll walk you through the first two. And then the last one, if you have wheel in your practice, I hate doing this not in a classroom because I really, like to watch everybody, but if you know you've got wheel in your practice and you want to try it, go ahead. Um, so let's do two rounds of bridge pose first. So push down through the feet, start to melt the tailbone, lengthen the tailbone, lift the hips up. Good, now lift the armpits, lengthen the thigh, push the back of the head into the floor. Good, take a big breath in. Exhale, another big breath in, exhale, and then slowly melt down. Good, I just have to let my dog go. Um, but let's do that one more time. This time we're gonna clasp the hands under the body. So hands beside uh, on, you, on the floor, beside your hips. Take a big inhale, start to lengthen the um, tailbone up. Start to lift the hips all the way up. Good, now kind of roll the shoulders side to side, clasping the hands under the body. Push the head into the floor so the chin stays in neutral. Can you lengthen the tailbone a little bit more? Can you move the armpits away and then draw the chin in? Good, hold it, squeeze the glutes, hold it, hold it, hold it, and then release the hands, slowly lower down. Just walk your heels, your feet away, and then drop the, the knees in for a second. So next time we're going to try a full Urdhva Dhanurasana wheel pose, or you can repeat one of the bridge poses. So for me, that part of the trouble getting into um, Urdhva Dhanurasana for a lot of people is the wrist, right? And upper body strength. So let's reach our hands to the sky for a second. And we're gonna flip your left palm up. So it's facing the ceiling, your arm is straight. You're at a 90 degree angle with the hand. And then take your right hand, grab the left thumb and just give it a pull. And then grab your first finger, give it a pull. Second finger, give it a pull. Good, just opening up the hand and the wrist. And then take your whole palm onto the top of the head and pull back. Good, and then let's switch sides. So arm is straight, hand comes as close to a 90 degree as you can. Take the left hand, grab the thumb and give it a pull. And then your first finger, Middle finger, ring finger, baby finger, good. and then all of them. Good, and then shake it out and then release the hands to the floor. If you're gonna do full wheel, you bring your hands behind 
and your elbows r raise up to the, the ceiling. And typically we have you go to the top of your head first. It's a lot of upper body strength. So you play around if you want to do a couple of rounds of Setu Banda, go ahead. Or if you want to try full wheel um, only if you have it in your practice and then lift the hips and then come up onto the head first, readjust your hands and then push down. So we did a lot of poses to really open up the body to prepare for this. Good, one more breath. And then slowly tuck the chin, come all the way down, let your knees um, fall in together, arms are out to the side. And just regroup. So I notice whenever I do wheel pose, it really gets my heart rate going. Notice if yours is pumping. And then draw the knees into your chest. Good. And then we're just going to place the feet back down on the floor. Grab your block and place the block between your thighs. And maybe walk your heels in a little bit. Hands just rest on the side. And we're going to squeeze the block, melt the tailbone. See if you can pull the armpits away. You can take your thumbs up, pull the armpits away, and then tuck your chin in. Good. Now squeeze the block. Start to lift the tailbone up just a tiny bit. It's the same motion that we did before. Press the lower back into the, the mat and feel how everything is really charged up. Squeeze the block, tailbone melts towards your heels, really work your abs and then soften and let everything go. Let that natural curve come to the lower back. Now we're gonna take our hands behind our, our head. Good, squeeze the block. Lift the tailbone. This time we're gonna lift the head and just hold it. So really press the mid back into the floor. Squeeze the block. You should be shaking. Hold, 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 and lower all the way back. Take a big breath in, let it out. Good, let's do it again. So squeeze the block. Melt the tailbone, press the lower back into the mat, lift the head up. Now this time, see if you can lift your right leg and just press it straight. Keep squeezing. Think of your ribs and your hips pulling together. So you're really up on the tips of your shoulder blade. Hold it, hold it, hold, hold, and lower back down. Let everything soften. Notice especially your face, right? Are you clenching your jaw, right? If you wanna get lucky, you have to be observant, right? It's these habits in our body that we do unconsciously over and over and over again. Okay, let's try it again. So melt the tailbone, press the lower back in, lift the head and shoulders up, squeeze, squeeze, straighten the left leg, squeeze. Really think of pulling, ribs and hip together. Squeeze the block between the legs. Hold, 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 and release. Good, let the block go. Hug the knees in, maybe flip up for happy baby. Good, maybe stretch one leg straight, the other leg straight. Make sure I have time for this last one. Good. So place your feet back down on the floor again. This is the last one. We're gonna take our right leg over top of the left. So it's Garudasana Eagle. If you can bind your foot behind, go ahead. Otherwise, just press the baby toe down into the foot. And then we're going to um, just hug the knees in gently. Just one or two times, just notice how that feels. Good, and then arms go out to the side. We're gonna slowly drop the knees over to the left. Oh, coming into a twist. So reach your right armpit away, maybe turn the head to look at your extended arm. 
You can use your left hand on your thigh to gently deepen. Oh, I heard a little crack there. Good. And then come back up. And we're going to separate the feet. Um, lift your head and shoulders up, grab your shins. So this one is really getting into the booty. Let your head release down. We're gonna hug our knees in towards our chest, hold them there, but then push the thigh or the shins away. The knees hug in, the shins push away, and then you draw your tailbone down to the floor. You should feel all the muscles and the glutes kind of stretching. So squeeze the knees in, push the sh shins away towards the top of the mat, melt the tailbone down. Good, oh, and then release, shake it out. And let's switch. So left leg goes on top, come right into eagle. Just a few gentle hug ins. Good, and then arms go to the side, drop your knees over to the right. Turn your head to the left. Good, one more breath. Good, head comes back to center. Use your abs to bring the legs all the way up and then separate your feet. Good, lift your head and shoulders up, grab onto your shins and then let the head release back. If your head won't touch the ground, you can put a blanket under your head, flex your feet, now hug the knees in towards your chest. So as you do that, feel how the tailbone lifts a little bit. Now push the shins this way and melt the tailbone down to the floor. Good, so knees hug in, now push the shins away, melt the tailbone down to the floor. Feel those glutes opening. Good, one more breath. Good, and then hug the knees into the chest. So if there's any pose that we didn't get to today that your body is wanting to do, go ahead and do it now. Otherwise, we're gonna release back into Shavasana. So let your feet go wide, your palms are facing up. Just take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it out. Let your face soften. Living under correct knowledge. The harder I practice, the luckier I get. So let the whole body soften. You've worked hard, so now just let your body melt into the floor. Just scanning from the tips of your toes all the way up the body to the crown of the head. Just being aware, right? We practice mindfulness in yoga. Be aware and observe where you're holding tension, where you might be misaligning so that you can open up to opportunities and luck.
and we begin to deepen your breath. Just bringing small movements into your fingers and your toes. Maybe stretching your arms up over your head, hook your thumbs. Just give your whole body one big last stretch. And then bend your knees and slowly roll over onto your right side and just pause here. Victory awaits him who has everything in order. People call it luck, but those who have neglected to take the necessary precautions, defeat is certain. Shallow men believe in luck, believe in circumstances. It was somebody's name or he happened to be there at the right time. Strong men believe in cause and effect. Luck is the residue of design. And using your hands gently, push yourself all the way up into a sitting position. Bring your hands in front of your heart, bow your head. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace. Peace. Namaste. Good. Thank you guys for joining me today. Sorry to trick you into a back bend class. <laughs> so Fawn, Fawn is up next week. Um, so, and if you haven't checked out, I think all of you guys have checked out um, bkula.com. We've got all kinds of workshops. We've got some really great teachers participating. So um, if you're interested, uh, just sign up online, but have a great Sunday, everybody.